What up boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Dells Films back with another great video. And today, we are finally here. We have finally made it. It's the 2019 MLB postseason, and this season has been a doozy. Not great for me and my Red Sox, but what can you do? So we're going to talk about each matchup, each team as we go, and we're going to see who's going to win. It might take a little game by game in the later rounds, but we're going to go and tell you who's going to win. In the first matchup of the day, we have the Tampa Bay Rays heading to Oakland to face the A's in their second straight wildcard game. Last year, of course, they lost to the Yankees in basically a blowout. And I think this will be a good game. It's going to be Charlie Morton probably versus Sean Manaya. I do think the A's are going to have a lot of advantages here with their hitting core. But I think the Rays are a very good team as well. I think Morton could put up six, seven good innings. But I think the Rays... Don't down the stretch with that bullpen. I don't trust it. I do trust the A's bullpen with Liam Hendricks, who is emerging as a league's top reliever. And I do have the A's winning in this one. It's going to be a close game, relatively low scoring. I'm thinking a big hit from Marcus Semyon or Matt Chapman, maybe Mark Canna as well. In the other wildcard game, which is actually the first wildcard game, we have the Milwaukee Brewers heading to Washington, DC that is, to face the Nationals. And the Nationals, I really, really like this year. They have a nasty rotation with Scherzer, Strasburg, Corbin, three unbelievable pitchers with Anibal Sanchez at step four, but their bullpen has just been so shaky. Doolittle's regressed to, I don't even know how he's been this horrible. He's on my fancy team. I know how bad he was. I had him and Diaz. Come on, it's pretty bad. But I think they've been a good team. Anthony Rendon maybe should win the MVP. It's gonna be close between him and Bellinger. But I'm, I'm very interested to see how this team performs in a one-game series. Of course, they got Max Scherzer on the mound. And on the other side, the Milwaukee Brewers, who somehow snuck into the playoffs. It's looking like the 07 Rockies right here. But I don't think that will happen because they don't have Christian Yelich. Their MVP should be the NL MVP if he stayed healthy. But I think the Brewers, with Brandon Woodruff on the mound, are going to put up a fight. But I think the Nationals are going to win. But, and hear me out, if the game is tied or close... In the seventh inning, the Brewers will probably win because Hayter's going to throw the seventh, eighth, and ninth if it gets close, and he's just so good, he's just going to shut them down. But I do have the Nationals winning. Now we move on to the Divisional Series. In our first matchup, we have the Twins going to New York for a five-game series. Of course, they come back to Minnesota, but you already knew that. But I do... Maybe you could call this an upset. I think everyone will call it an upset. I do have the Twins winning, and let, let me explain. The Twins are a very underrated team this year. They've got two legit pitchers in Barrios and Odorizzi. Odorizzi slumped the second half, but I think he can rebound in these playoffs. They have an unbelievable lineup, broke the records for home runs in the season, what was it 309 or something ridiculous like that? Unbelievable. They have great hitters across the board, a great team, a pretty decent bullpen with one of the best lefty relievers, maybe the best lefty reliever in the AL, against lefties in Taylor Rogers. I think they have a stacked team, but on the other side, the New York Yankees are unbelievably loaded. They have an unbelievable bullpen with Britton, Chapman, Chad Green, Otto Vino, unreal, and a great lineup. You got Judge, Sanchez, DD's gonna come off the bench. That's how good this team is, you know. But they're starting pitching. Do you trust James Paxton? Do you trust J.A. Happ? Do you trust? CC Sabathia, who else are you going to throw? Luis Severino, he's had, what, three starts? They've looked good, but I don't know if I trust this team to beat these Twins in a five-game series. I think the starting pitching is going to kill them. They're going to let up runs early, get down. This Twins team is going to put it on them, and they're just going to keep hitting home runs and home runs and home runs, especially in the small Yankee Park. This might be the most home runs hit in a divisional series ever. It's going to be a wild, wild game, but I have the Twins in maybe four or five games. On the other side, in the 2 vs 3 matchup, we have the St. Louis Cardinals, the winner of the NL Central, first winner of the NL East, the Atlanta Braves. And I think this is going to be a wash. I think the Cardinals might take game 2 or 3, whatever Jack Flaherty pitches, they're going to win. But besides that, they really don't have a shot. The Braves are a very, very well-rounded team, with maybe some concerns in the bullpen, but they kind of shirt that up with Shane Green and Mark Melanson. I think their starting pitching could be a hindrance to them if Soroka doesn't perform, if Keiko doesn't perform, if Fulton Neverwich doesn't perform. I think they're all kind of questionable, but I think if they do perform, they could be a dangerous team. And the Cardinals, I really don't see much out of them. They really only won, what, 90 games, 91 games. They don't look like they're going to make much noise this postseason. I'd say they're down in three or four. In the third divisional series matchup, we have a division rivalry. We have the Oakland A's playing 
the Houston Astros, I think just like the Braves and Cardinals series, this is also a wash. I know the A's have been really good against the Astros, but if you take out maybe the last few, I mean, they're 9 and 11 against them. It's not great. They had a slow start to the season against the Astros, and the Astros are easily the best team in this postseason. The A's really don't have the starting pitching depth, even the bullpen depth, to compete with a team like this. The Astros are so well rounded. Probably the best lineup in here. Probably the best starting pitching in here with Garrett Cole who's going to win the Cy Young, Justin Verlander who's probably going to come in second, uh, Zach Greinke who's won a couple Cy Youngs of his own, Wade Miley who's a stud. I, it's just going to be tough to beat them. I say the Astros in three, maybe four. The Ash, the A's pull out a game out of their butt, the Billy Bean magic, but Billy Bean doesn't build teams to win in the playoffs. It's just proven. It's a fact at this point. I think the A's are one and out. And for the last divisional series matchup, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers, the number one seed in the NL, playing the wildcard team, the Washington Nationals. And I think for the Nats, this is kind of their worst possible situation. I think they could compete against the Braves, the Cardinals, because of their starting pitching depth. But the Dodgers match it at that. For Scherzer, they have Ryu. For Strasburg, they have Bueller. For Corbin, they have Kershaw. It, it just it doesn't make sense for to pick the nationals here i know they're a great team anthony rendon's great but for rendon they have bellinger i think the dodgers match very well i think they're going to match up well against every team but especially the nationals here i think it's going to be another not great series maybe i'm probably going to say a sweep in three i really can't see the nationals winning a game unless one of their starting pitchers goes off but who knows if their bullpen performs and maybe they get a few hitters that you didn't expect this team could make noise but for now i have them losing to the dodgers in three and for the ALCS, we have the Houston Astros going against the three seed Minnesota Twins. And unfortunately for baseball, I really don't think this is much of a series. You just got to understand, Houston is so good. I, th this lineup is absolutely unbelievable. You have all-stars down the board. You got what Correa, Bregman, Altuve, Springer, Brantley, Gurriel. I, it, it, it's just unstoppable. I, I gotta say, it's just unstoppable, this team. Even Josh Reddick was an all-star this year, wasn't he? Uh, Chirinos is really good. It's it, it just, you can't beat this team. I don't know how a team can beat this team in seven, which might be foreshadowing our future thing, but uh, the Twins the twins could hold on with some big hitting. Maybe Berrios and Odorizzi go off. I think it'll be not really a close series, maybe five or six games with Houston taking it. And in the NLCS, we have the one seed Dodgers versus the two seed Atlanta Braves. And this is an interesting matchup. They met last year in the NLDS, and it was actually a, a pretty good matchup. The Dodgers took the first two, Braves took the third, and the Dodgers came back to win the fourth. So it could have been close. If it went to a game five, really anyone can win at that point. But seven game series here, of course, and we have great pitching, great, great pitching. But I think the Braves are too young. I think Freddie Freeman, it just can't carry this team because guys like Acuna are too young. Albies are too young. You got to understand, they're just not old enough. I don't think their veterans can really carry them yet. Soroka, rookie starting pitcher is going to have to be the focal point. It's just not... It's just not feasible in my mind that this team could beat the Dodgers. I think next year, if they trade for a guy like Mookie Betts, I know that seems absurd, but it, rumors of it have been happening. But maybe the Red Sox keep him. Who knows? Getting off track. But the Braves are good, but they're not there yet. They're like one, two pieces away. Maybe a really good starting pitcher. Maybe they're that Chris Sale away that the Red Sox were, right? And the Dodgers, they're ready. They are fully prepared to lose another World Series. Ah, did I say that? Yeah, I did. Okay. They're really good. Starting pitching is impeccable. It's going to be tough to beat them. Bullpen, Will Shaky, Kenley Jansen. You don't know who you're going to get every night. But Dodgers in five. And here we have it, my super exciting World Series matchup. I know, I know, Astros, Dodgers, the one seed versus one seeds, everyone's predicting it. It's because it's going to happen. Look, the Astros are the best team in baseball. The Dodgers are a close second. Maybe there's a little gap, but they're a close second. And there's like a big gap and then probably the Yankees. It, the, the Dodgers are really good, but the Astros are just better. They, that addition of Granky is just such a killer because the Dodgers are like, well, we have three starting pitchers that are good. You've matched us with two. Well, we can get that third one, maybe win two games easy, sneak out another one, you got three, and you could possibly win another one. But now with that Granky addition, they're not going to be able to. I think this is going to be a great series, lots of home runs, lots of strikeouts. It's going to be a three true outcome if you're into that. 
But I think the Astros are going to win. And the Astros are going to be World Series champions again. The Dodgers are going to lose three straight World Series. If they want to go for the Bills record, they can go for four next year. I wouldn't be mad. It'd be pretty funny. A little bit boring, but a little funny. As long as the Red Sox win the World Series. So that's my video. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button. If you didn't, hit the subscribe, uh, subscribe button. See, I can't even talk. And maybe hit the like button if you feel like it. I'm not going to pressure you. You do you. And uh, see you in the next one. Buy some sports cases. Ads coming up next.